Joyce here with the Traveling Gamblers, and I am here with John. Hello, John. Hello, Joyce. And today is day one of eight days living on the Queen Mary 2 Cunard Cruise Lines. And so far, so good. Yes. Yes, it's very lovely. It's different, and we'll get into that, but it's, it's very lovely. Where we started out yesterday, we were in our hotel in London, mm -hmm. and we had a little bit of a debacle. Yes. We wouldn't be the traveling gamblers if there wasn't some kind of an issue. <laughs> It was our driver to the airport. It was the young man that picked us up that we had arranged online prior to the trip. And he picked us up from the London airport, Heathrow. And he drove us about an hour to our hotel. He was very nice, responsible, a great driver, very nice car, all the good stuff. We got on the topic of the transportation to Southampton from our hotel in London, and it was about an hour and a half to two hours, depending on mm -hmm. traffic. Long story short, he said he would be happy to take us. He confirmed it. He said, we don't need to do anything. He'll be there. And we agreed on a price. Yes. Online Uber was 160 and some other source was like 250 So we agreed on $200. Mm -hmm. And we very, very firmly agreed that this was a done deal. Mm -hmm. And the next day, John and I had a wonderful day in London, but our cell phone batteries started to die. We were using our cell phones for information and GPS. We did a hop on, hop off, but we also walked a lot. And we were going to a play that night we went to see Les Miserables mm -hmm. and we needed the phone for the tickets mm -hmm. and we needed it for the GPS to get to the theater. Because of that, we turned our phones on and off intermittently throughout the day, kept them off and every hour or so we returned them on when we needed them. The next morning, John gets up about 6.30, which was yesterday, and he texted the young man to say, just confirming, we'll see you at eight o'clock, never responded. When I got up at seven, John let me know about it. We started to look for another source. Because it was not prearranged and because we were not getting a driver to connect with us through Uber, we called the front desk and they said that they would just be doing the same thing for us. We ended up going with the Uber X, which is faster, but it's more expensive. And it cost us $300 to get to the port yesterday. Mm -hmm. We were happy for a ride, but it was a very stressful morning and I would never do that again. So lesson learned, have everything done in writing, book something, have a booking number, reference number, something. So our trip to the port was long. Our driver through UberX was terrific. He was very mm -hmm. nice. Mm -hmm. We stopped at a rest area so John and I could get Starbucks. It took us about two and a half hours to get there because of the stop. And we arrived at the port right around 11. Our check-in time was 12. There were about 10 people here already. Right. We got in line and we gave our luggage over to the porters. We gave our big suitcases and we kept the small suitcases with us. And we got in line around 11. Around 11.30, they started to let us on the ship. We went inside, we checked in, they had us sit down in a certain area because we were in a priority seating area. Mm -hmm. We went through security. We had two bottles of wine with us. And yes. They didn't care. That we brought from yeah. the celebrity yeah. ship with yes. us. Yes. So I checked online ahead of time and each person was allowed to bring a bottle right. of wine right. because we didn't have anything. So remember, this is a new, cruise line for us. We've never been on Cunard before. And with Celebrity, we have all the perks because we're either in a suite and we're both Ruby with the casino program and we get all the perks. Right. But with this one, we didn't have any Wi-Fi. We didn't have a drink package. We didn't have anything except we did have prepaid gratuities and a $300 onboard credit. So we brought the two bottles of wine and we got on no problem. We put them right. in our carry-on, right. not the checked luggage. Yeah. Then we um, got on board. We got an elevator right away. It yes. was like 
you know, it's not Shocking. like, yes, and there's small elevators, but there was no one around. We right. just hopped on the elevator, went up to our, our room, cabin, and um, we unpacked a little bit of our stuff, and then we went downstairs because we still needed the big bags. We went to the Princess Grill. The Princess Grill is where the people in the Princess Suites will eat, and then there are Queen Suites, which are the next step up. That's the highest level, and they eat in the Queen's Grill. Mm -hmm. And then everybody else eats in the main dining room, which is the Britannia, I think it's right. called. So before that, when we got in the room, there was a letter saying we had a drink package, which yes. we had no idea that we had. I don't yes. know where it came from. From the purser's office. Oh, yeah. and, and um, It said that we had the complimentary drink package. We had up to $12 per drink. Mm -hmm. If we wanted a drink that was above $12, they would just charge us the full price for that. Right, we're on Celebrity if you get something that's outside of the range. So if you have the classic on Celebrity, it's $11. And if you ordered a drink for 13, you would just pay the $2 difference. We're here on Cunard. If you order something outside of the $12, you pay for the whole drink. And we have to pay the gratuity on every drink. The drink package that they gave to us for free but every drink that we order, we pay a 15% gratuity on. So for every coffee and latte and cocktail or wine or whatever we have, so we will have all the gratuities that we'll have to pay for at the end, which is, I mean, it's great. We're thrilled. Right. Just letting you know what the facts are. Even though we have prepaid gratuities, but that's for the other things. So for the drinks we have, the, right. it's, it's still great. Yes. Because we were expecting to pay for every drink. Right, and, right, and which we don't drink a lot. Plus they but, give us two big bottles of water a day. That's because we're in a princess grill suite. Right. Yes, or princess suite. Right. Yes. And then... We had a certificate for a complimentary specialty restaurant, which we still have to book. It's for the steakhouse. Well, that... We can, I think, choose which one, but they recommended the steakhouse. They think there are only two or right. three on the ship. But the steakhouse also has seafood. Oh, yeah. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to book that. Right. And then we also got something about stationery. Yes, so <laughs> like we got the personalized pajamas from the other ship yes. and the villa. This you get personalized stationery that they're going to make for us and give to us. We're, so we're we'll, still trying to decide what to put on there. We'll see what that yes, looks yeah. like. And after we unpacked some of our stuff, waiting for our big suitcases, mm -hmm. we went to lunch in the Princess Grill, kind of like Lumine, but it's for the Princess Suites only. And then they have the Queen's Grill, which is for the Queen's Suites only. And we are assigned a table. It's a table for two, and it's the same table for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, which they serve every single day. This cruise, we only had one port day, which was today in France. But if there were more port days, they do serve lunch every single day. Oh, on this port day, we were told there'll be another six or 700 passengers joining us. So we found out that some passengers came on in Hamburg, some passengers came on. Well, in... the, this cruise actually started in Hamburg. Okay. And so a lot of people were on Hamburg and then more guests got on. And that makes sense as to why it wasn't super crowded right. when we got on the ship. Right yesterday because a lot of guests had already were already on from the day before when they were in Hamburg. And then as John said, another six or seven hundred are getting on today. I'm not sure what the full capacity is, but I think the ship is It was like twenty five hundred. I think it's yes. fairly full. Yes. Yes. It's fairly full. So today even though we are in La Havre, which is about an hour and a half, two hours from Paris John and I have decided to stay on the ship and make the most of it and try to upload as many videos as we possibly can before the ship sets off to cross the Atlantic because we understand that the Wi-Fi may not be very good. So far, what we've experienced is the Wi-Fi is okay in the common areas of the ship, but not very good at all in our cabin. And we decided, first we were gonna get one device for the trip because we had the onboard credit. Right. 
And then we said, you know what, let's just get the two devices. Yeah. And it was, what, $350 for two right. devices? So for, we right. had to pay $50 out of pocket right. because we had $300. But it doesn't credit. work in our room, really. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, so. it doesn't. Yeah. So after uh, we came back from, and, and lunch, by the way, was wonderful. Mm -hmm. The food so far has been delicious. Dinner last night was fantastic. And after we came back, our other luggage was here and they have complimentary laundry, self-service laundry. There's a laundry room on, I'm gonna say like six of the decks. Right. And there happens to be one on the deck that we're on. Mm -hmm. There's three stacked washers on the bottom, dryers on the top, and it's complimentary. They provide you with these laundry sheets that's the detergent and John and I were able to do four loads of laundry, mm -hmm. two each, and we got all our clothes clean, which was really terrific because we were starting to run out of clothes. It's a lot easier on Celebrity because we each get two bags of laundry per cruise. That but, is true. Somebody but, else does it yeah, for us. But, but we were happy to have it, and it is a very nice service. Yes. It's unlimited, and it's complimentary, but you have to do it yourself. Sometimes you have to fight for the machine. We were lucky that we got well, the machine. Well, I don't know if we had to fight for it, but... <laughs> that there's definitely a popular need for it. Right. So you have to wait until you get a chance to use it. But we got lucky we did it early on. Right. And then after we finished doing all of our laundry, we came back, we completely unpacked, we settled in. Mm -hmm. It was time to get ready to go to dinner. And we had a wonderful dinner last night. And we will cover more about the meals. We're gonna do a video with breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and we'll show you the menu in the dining room and we'll cover mm -hmm. all of that at that time. But it was very lovely. Mm -hmm. And then after dinner, we went to the casino. Yes, we did. The casino. It's oh, so small. It's tiny. There's yes. 50 machines right. and six old, tables. Old machines. Old machines yeah. and six tables. And we did okay. We yeah. held our own. Yeah. And then after the casino, we came back to our cabin. We we're completely exhausted and we went to bed and we slept great. It is a very comfortable bed. It's a very the comfortable pillows bed. pillows are really comfortable. Very comfortable suite. Was... Yes, everything was really terrific. And on that note, we will tell you about today, tomorrow. Say goodbye, Nellie. Goodbye, Nellie. Thank you so much for watching. We truly do appreciate your support. We hope you enjoy this series of eight days living on Queen Mary 2. And as always, we hope you have a wonderful day.